بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بروفيسور دكتور أسامة why the west do fear from islam thank you بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful and that's an important question and a growing fear all over the world now from islam why, why do they fear why you fear from anything you fear if you have a false belief that is dangerous or you don't know exactly what does this mean and you are deceived by uh, the media or whatever so many of the western people think that Islam is contradictory to the human freedom in fact Islam sets the freedom to the maximum however really there are some restrictions by the Islamic rulings. But let me tell you something. In the secular society, you do have restrictions, don't you? The rules, principles, the law, all these are restrictions that restrict your movement in the life. But for the sake of whom? It's for the sake of the society itself, isn't it? You prevent stealing, cheating, bribery, you prevent uh, the unvirtual acts by these rulings. So, by in Islam we have the freedom of the human being. There are some restrictions, but for the sake of the human being himself. And I'll give you an example. Setting the freedom to the utmost without any rules is chaos. I mean, if you, for example, the sexual relations are set they are set to the maximum all over the world so a woman or a man can can both can do the this act without any restrictions but we see the result now that starting this relation quite young we lost the innocence of the childhood you see we are losing the innocence we now have illegal children homeless and other problems social, the result of setting this free. So, Islam regards it as chaos, but restricting this sex relation in the marriage only, sure it produces some organization of the society. And next point is that some think that Islam contradicts science. I think this an heritage from the 17th and 16th centuries where Europe had the conflict between science and the church for a long time until science won this battle and thereafter secularism was taken as the primary principle and the religion was discarded and uh, set on the shelf and um, that was a real problem but nobody could feel it because everybody <coughs> sorry everybody wanted to do whatever he wanted and so the uh, Christianity was contradictory to science at the thoughts of the church in the 17th and 18th century. In Islam we have a completely different story. The, uh, in the middle centuries they were flourishing science, scientists all over the world, and uh, they were Muslims. And all this science, uh, mostly, were transferred across Spain, across the Crusades to the West where the Western civilization has started by the 16th century. So, we don't have any contradictions to Islam. On the contrary, the Holy Quran has many verses that ask you to use, your, use up your mind. إِنَّ فِي خَلْقِ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَاخْتِلَافِ اللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ لَآيَاتٍ لِيُنِ الْأَلْبَابِ You see that this verse asks you to use up your mind to think of how God created this universe. And from this we understand why the Muslims were advanced in scientific aspects. And Actually, from the Sunnah? Yes, from the Sunnah we have uh, evidence that uh, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, usually asks his companions and asks all the Muslims to get the knowledge. They should set, themsel set themselves to the knowledge that gives them the power 
in the life, not to dominate or to hurt others, but to cooperate with each others for the sake of humanity. <coughs> And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well asks and says Al-ilm farida ala kulli muslim The learning science and knowledge is obligatory to every muslim. We don't have any contradictions. A third point is that we have uh, the media. They are putting false beliefs. Uh, those on the, the media are responsible they know what they do. They, they are intending to uh, set the story of Islam in the dark area. They don't like to, Islam to spread. That's why they do so. I know that there are terrorism and there are some terrorists that they, um, that they think they are Muslims, but they are not good Muslims. But you are not allowed to kill others in the way that we see from now and then. Sure, the Islam does not uh, plea for this terrorism, but it's against it. But it doesn't mean that some Muslims are terrorists, is that the Islam, the whole religion, is a terroristic religion. No. On the contrary, Islam is a religion of peace. You find that the name of Allah, one of the names of Allah is peace. We don't fight in Islam, except if you are transgressed, except if your land is occupied by others. Here you are justified to fight, to defend yourself, to defend your religion. Otherwise, so uh, this uh, media are underestimating and at the same time giving false beliefs about Islam. A final point <clears throat> that when you Western look to the looks to the some Muslims, they are underdeveloped countries, uh, they are poor, they uh, don't work well, uh, they are underdeveloped in scientific aspects. In the nowadays, they say, "Oh, you want me to be a Muslim? To be a Muslim? I will not be. I will not be an underdeveloped. Uh, sometimes they say barbarians. So they have some right because, really, in an Islamic societies, mostly now we are underdeveloped. But I mind you that we are underdeveloped because we left the essence of Islam, which is working, logic thinking, scientific beliefs, being." honest in your work. We left all these principles. That's why we retreated back. Uh, in the middle centuries, the Arabs, Muslims were dominating the world by their culture. And they were scientists all over the world, as I told you before. Now, we are not good examples. That's why there, there is some right for those who look at the Muslim cases and they say, this is a bad case, I'm not, I don't like to be like them. So I finalize why is the Islam growing now, despite all these limitations, despite all these false beliefs? This is due to the, the fact that the Islam is the real religion from Allah. It's more logic. I ask you to read on yourself. Read it on your own. Don't listen to the media. Think in a logic way. Go to the net. There are several sites, islamway.net, islamway Come, listen carefully, make up your mind, and you're sure you'll be able to reach to the right path.